In today's video, we will learn how to create a problem report in Windchill. Before starting, I want to make you understand the change management terminology used in Windchill. Generally, four change management terminologies are being used. First one is a problem report. From problem report, we make change request. And from change request, we make a change notice. And from change notice, change activity is automatically generated. Now in future coming videos, I will also make you understand how to make a change request and how to make a change notice as well. Now like change management terminologies, there are change management roles described in Windchill also. For example, first role is of a change admin. He is assigned to do a particular duty or roles in Windchill. He can create and analyze a problem report and a change request. Generally, someone from engineering department. Now, change admin 2. He can create and analyze change notices and change activities. Generally, a design engineer is a change admin. Now, change admin 3. He has given all the rights in Windchill to audit and review the particular activity. Now, creating a problem report in Windchill. Firstly, we will go to this browse section, then we will go to the libraries and then we'll click on actions. Now from actions, we'll go to the new. In new, various other options are there, new document, new multiple documents. Now we will select it as new problem report. Now by selecting problem report, new window will pop up in which four targets are there. First one is setting attributes, then select affected objects, set attachments and select associations. Now we will select a particular name for an object. For example, this and for number, it gets automatically generated. Unique number is generated ECR number. Oh, sorry, a problem report number. Then a requester, requester's names will be there in category. We can select the category from these. Many other are also there. For example, a business source has to be only added. Then we'll select this category and write a little bit of description. Now, currently I'm taking an example of a CAD work request. Then on priority section, we can select its priority as low, medium, high. Now it's set as low. In need date, we can select the need date when we want this to be completed from a design engineer. So we'll add this in description, a brief description about something uh, the change is all about. Whatever is clicked on star indicates required fields. So priority is not a required field. Then we will click on next in next. Then this second target will be highlighted. Select affected objects. Now before select affected objects I'll show you the functions of these this means copy selected objects from particular table to another table now from paste from clipboard means the same that we can paste from that clipboard to that clipboard now paste selection from clipboard then this is remove icon we can remove if we have added some wrong part number to this we can add a new part number from this icon and from this we can collect all the affected objects related to that particular part number. Now in actions, same these icons are given. Now we will click on add button and now this window will pop up find affected objects. Then we can search the part number and by clicking the part number we will find this. Then selecting this and clicking OK will add this part number in this particular table. Now we can click on check in this and then we'll click on the collect affected objects. Now another window will pop up of a collection picker. Now this window helps us to pick all the related affected objects to this particular part number. Now this icon represents cat document selection. We can select a part number and select all these particular parts. Now this icon is for generally a 2D document by clicking part number and by clicking this we can generate all the PDF documents also but right now we need only a CAD document so this is a part symbol this is a drawing symbol and this is an assembly symbol then we'll click an OK to this 
now third target has been highlighted which is set attachments now in set attachments we can add all the proofs a mail communication or how to make a particular drawing some indication from a engineering department a markup maybe we can add those attachments to this now the fourth target is being highlighted which is select associations we can select all the associated process objects right now there is none so we'll finish and this way we can successfully create a problem report in windchill i hope i was able to make you understand how to make a problem report in windchill for more future videos related to windchill or how to create a ecr do subscribe my channel so let's meet in next video